hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i will show you how i fix a broken nail the easiest way to fix it is to cut it off however i don't want to lose any length especially as a nail model so in this video i will show you how i fix it i didn't just break one nail i broke multiple nails only on my right hand so i will show you how i fix it as well my other hand is doing pretty well except for the pinky nail which has a very very small tear at the right side of the nail i don't like using acrylic or any hard gel products on my nail so i will show you how to make them strong again without using these kind of products so let's go ahead and get started in order to make the nail patch last as long as possible, I recommend using rubbing alcohol to do this. Next up you will be using a polishing block. You can also use a very very fine nail file if you have this at home. However, since we are working on a natural nail, you should use a product that is as gentle as possible. I am making the nail patch out of a piece of tea bag. I just used the tea and kept the tea bag and now I'm using a small piece to glue it onto the nail. The piece you will be using should be a little bit bigger than the actual break. To apply the piece of tea bag to the nail you should be using a orange wooden stick and also a gel top coat to make it stick. Apply a little bit of product onto the wooden stick. And it can be a no wipe gel top coat or a regular gel top coat, that doesn't matter that much. Make sure to apply a very thin layer on the bare nail. This is to make the tea bag stick. Make sure to not cure it yet, we will cure it in the next step. Apply a little bit more gel top coat on the end of the wooden stick. And use this to stick the piece of tea bag onto your nail. Place it over the break and make sure to hold it with one of your other nails to keep it in place and make sure to seal all the edges very well that nothing is like sticking out. This is the first time you will be curing it and cure it for about 30 seconds in an LED lamp. I like to hold the nail for extra stability. To smooth out the surface I will be using a gentle nail buffer. I am using this one that has a slightly lower grit than the previous nail polish block to smooth everything out. Take some rubbing alcohol again and wipe off any dust. Now I am applying a second layer of gel top coat to smooth out the area where there is no tea bag, so it becomes one nice smooth piece. As you can see there is a very small gap at the side of my nail so I'm using a little bit of gel top coat to fix this and again I'm going to cure it under the lamp for about 30 seconds. One more time I will be using the nail buffer to smooth out the surface. Whenever I will be applying nail polish I do not want to see any visible patch so that's why I'm smoothing it out again. And the final step of the filing is using the polishing block again to smooth it out one more time. 
to protect the nail and the nail patch I will be using a base coat and apply this all over the nail to make sure that everything will last just a little bit longer. Curing it one more time, 30 seconds under LED lamp and I'm just wiping off the sticky layer with some rubbing alcohol again. So most of the work has been done for now, however I do want to make sure that the side of the nail is smooth as well. So the final step is to use a nail file to smooth everything out on the sides. So that is it for fixing the nail. I like the way it turned out. I also fixed my pinky nail by just applying top coat without the tea bag because this little break. I fixed the thumb by using a tea bag as well. A nail patch like this with the tea bag lasts from 7 days up till 14 days. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye!